Hello, I'd like to demonstrate types of waves. Here I have a slinky supported by strings on this bar, and I'm going to set up some waves in this slinky. First, I'll set up some longitudinal waves. And we'll see what happens when I pull this end out and move it back and forth. I set up a series of longitudinal waves. And where the, uh, where the slinky is compressed, that corresponds to the crest of a wave. Where the slinky is separated or the rarefaction regions corresponds to the trough of a wave. So we have a separation between the crests and the separation between adjacent crests corresponds to a wavelength. Similar to a wave we might have in a rope here where the distance from one crest to the next is a wavelength. In the case of the longitudinal waves in the slinky, the separation distance between one set of compression and the next uh, compressed region, compressed region here and a compressed region here, that compression separation distance is called one wavelength. So uh, with longitudinal waves, uh, which uh, exists when we have the particles in the medium moving along the same line which the wave travels. So in this case, the wave is traveling to the right, and the particles are moving back and forth, right and left, as the wave goes through. Demonstrate that one more time. So we, here we have the wave propagating, waves propagating along from the end where my hand is to the opposite end, they're separated at a certain distance called wavelength. My hand's moving at a certain frequency, so many cycles per second, called frequency. And uh, we see that uh, the particles move along the same line which the wave travels. In this case, it's a line along the slinky, longitudinal waves. The amplitude in the case of the wave in a rope would be the displacement from the equilibrium position to the uh, maximum displacement, that's called amplitude. And uh, frequency is the number of vibrations per second. Wavelength is the distance between two similar points. And that relationship between frequency, wavelength, and speed is given by this equation here, which is valid for all types of waves, including longitudinal waves. Longitudinal waves. Next, I'd like to demonstrate transverse waves using this same slinky. This time I'm going to oscillate my hand back and forth and the waves are going to travel along the slinky. So the waves will be traveling in that direction, but the particles will actually be traveling perpendicular to that direction or transverse. So if I move this uh, slinky back and forth in that fashion, then that'll send transverse waves along the slinky. So we have longitudinal waves where the particles move along the line the waves are moving, and we have transverse waves where the particles move perpendicular to the direction the waves are traveling. Longitudinal and transverse waves. 